Larry, now you've got some breaking news. Yeah, indeed, George. NASA launching the very first test flight of its new space capsule after delays yesterday. So critical to the space program as this type of spacecraft could one day take man to Mars. ABC's David Curley is standing by in Washington for liftoff. Good morning, David. Good morning, Lara. We are just moments away from the U.S. launching this new effort to get into deep space. You are looking at a live picture right now from just south of Cape Canaveral. We are seconds away from this Delta IV heavy rocket carrying this brand new capsule that could carry astronauts to the moon, asteroids, even Mars. Let's watch. Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff. At dawn, the dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. Good engine control in the first stage. Passing 25. As you heard, it is called Orion. It is at the top of this Delta IV rocket and it is going to space for the first time. It looks a lot like the old Apollo capsules, but it's much bigger, a yard wider on the bottom. Nobody on board this first test flight. This craft will orbit the Earth once, and then on its second orbit, will head 3,600 miles into space. That's the deepest the U.S. has been since 1972. Then Orion will return, testing its heat shield. And the question is, will it work as if the craft was returning from the moon? It's a four and a half hour trip with splash down off the coast of Baja, Mexico. The capsule recovered by the Navy, a $370 million mission. As I mentioned, guys, this is the capsule that could carry us to an asteroid and maybe even Mars someday. Four and a half hours, it'll be over. And there it is one more time. It's always so thrilling to see those liftoffs. It really is. We are witnessing what could be the future of space travel.